People come to Longwood to see plants and gardens. There's all kinds of flowers, trees, incredible displays. But what really catches many people's attention are the fantastic shapes in the topiary garden. Children love it. They love to play hide and seek here. And it's just a fantastic experience, almost like Alice in Wonderland. Topiary is the art and practice of trimming shrubs and trees into unusual shapes. This garden began as a sundial garden. Pierre Dupont decided to add some uh, yew trees. So he purchased 33 yew trees, and of those 11, he let grow into giant domes. And that was the basis for the topiary at Longwood. And then in 1958, Longwood purchased 30 topiaries from an estate on Long Island in New York. And those plants were already 40 years old, so they were mature specimens. So they planted those here, and then in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, more features were added. And so today we have about 35 figures, some old, some new. Here at Longwood, we shear the topiaries once a year. We usually start late June, or early July, once the U has pushed most of its growth so that we only have to do it one time. It takes roughly four to five weeks, depending on the temperatures and the weather. Some of the most difficult to care for are the most historic pieces we have in the garden. Um, as they get older and their habits change and they get a lot more size to them, um, it gets harder to do. And some of the hardest are the historic domes that Mr. DuPont planted in 1936. Here at Longwood, we're always planning for the future. So if something does happen to one of our topiaries in the gardens, we do have replacements that we're growing on at the nursery and actually shear and maintain. I think Pierre Dupont, if he were to come back, he would be surprised at the various architectural shapes that his relatively simple garden has evolved into. But I think he would be thrilled to see how children love it because he really liked children and to see them running around in the garden uh, and being very happy, that would give him great pleasure.